Hi everyone, today we will cover about score system using Unity event. Let's open our code on the ball first. And we can see that we already have the logic to know when the ball is scored, right? Right now we will convert this into an event so we can increase the score. But before all of that, it's better if we do the UI first, which is the score text. For that kind of purpose, we can use canvas. Right click, choose UI, and then canvas. For now, we will use the default settings. In the future chapter, we will modify this for our mobile device purpose. And again, right click, UI, and Text Mask Pro. We will use this for showing our score. Import TMP Essentials. And there you go. You can see the text right here. Close this and we can set the position of the text. Just select the text and here, click. You can choose the position. Set the pivot and also the position. So press Shift and Alt. And we will show the score on the top of the screen right here. So we can use this one. Just click it. And it will move to here. But if we see the pivot, it's actually become like this. Wait. See this two pivot? It's stretched. So we just need to move it to the center, right? For that, we can just center it by text like this. And we will set the score at the start to be zero. Remember, this is just a gameplay. We will modify the UI again, so it will be better for the production. Right now, we just want to make sure all of it is work. Set your font, maybe about 100. Oh, it's too big. So 70 maybe? Okay, 70. And we can give the style. Just use outline and give the thickness like this. Okay, now our score text is ready. Let's rename it score text. And we have the UI ready so we can make the score system. Let's just create our empty component named score system. Add component and we can create the script named score script. I, I mean score system. Like that, and we can see the script is created right here. And because we already have two script, maybe we want to organize this on the folder named scripts and just move two of them right there. Now let's just open the score system. The purpose of this score system is to track our score and also updating the score to the UI. So we need two things, right? The UI and the score variable. We're using TMP for our text. So we need to import it using TM Pro. And the component that we use in the UI named TMP underscore text, name score text, just like that. And another one is the score itself, private integer score. Uh, let's just give the initial data zero. And we don't need the update. We just need 
function like scored because when the ball scored, we want to call this function to update the score. Let's create this public void score just like this and score plus one and then update the display using score text dot set text score and convert it into a string. That's it. And for now, that script will do nothing. It's because we didn't attach it anywhere, right? I mean, we attach it to this, but the scored function never called. So how to call it? We will using Unity event. Before that, we can attach the TMP text component right here. So it connected to the score system. Now get back to our bowl script. And like before, we already know, this is when the ball scored. So we will call the event right here. Let's create the Unity event first using Unity Engine dot events. Then we can create public Unity event called event. And we can just call that event when we score. For event dot to call this, we need to use info, just like that. And what happened with this is, you can see in the Unity editor, it's like button click. Let's see. Go to our ball. And right now, if we see the script, there's scored event. And we want to call the score system scored. So press plus and choose the object. We can choose the score system in the editor. And what function we want to call is scored. That's it. Let's see. Start the game and try to score. It worked. It's easy, right? Next, we will try to target our Android device or iOS for you if you want. You can start to make it into the production and polish the UI, all of it. And also, if you notice it, uh, the camera. We don't have good camera right now. It's just following our window screen and it's not good for mobile because mobile device having too much variant. We need to adjust it. Okay, that's it for now. Hope it helps. Thank you for watching. See ya.